A slow start to the sturgeon spearing season may be getting even slower, to say the least. The number of sturgeon speared on opening weekend down for a second straight year. And now because of the rain, some spears are basically giving up for the year. Yes, spears say just getting on and off the lake is quickly becoming a problem. And they say water clarity will only get worse as the rain runoff works its way out into the lakes. And Fox 11's Chad Doran tells us they're not optimistic the season will get much better. A little bit. A little bit ahead. Inch. Oh. Daryl Prodell and his friends are calling it quits. Not just for today, but for the rest of the sturgeon spearing season. This is it for the year. We're done. Disappointing? Yeah, a little bit, but it's, it's a sport. It's the way it is. It's like deer hunting. You go deer hunting, you might not see one either. Sunday's rains made getting around the lake a chore. Not only will the rain melt some of the snow and have runoff come into the lake that'll make water clarity conditions worse, worsen, but also um, the water running onto the lake could do some damage to the landing points for spears to get, get on and off the lake. And you can see just how difficult it's becoming to get on and off the lake. Here at Waverly Beach, spearers say this crack just about 100 yards offshore used to be just a speed bump. Now they say strong west winds have made it nearly impossible to cross. But that doesn't mean people aren't attempting it. By noon Monday, six shanties were pulled off Lake Winnebago at Waverly Beach. While not a single sturgeon was brought ashore. DNR staff at Waverly say they haven't registered a sturgeon yet this year. Rain and the current weather conditions that we have right now probably aren't going to do any favors for the remainder of the season. The reason some spears are saying they'll just wait until next year. Anywhere from two to four inches of water, and I think it's going to get worse. In Manasha, Chad Doran, Fox 11 News.